Hello, today we're going to talk about displaying the contents of arrays. Um, this is intended to be a continuation of the previous video, but I'll touch on some of the basics just the same because I'm sure some people came right here. So arrays are complex. They're more complex than variables. If I wanted to print out a variable, I would just echo out the name of the variable. Like, uh, like that looks right. That looks like a variable. It is an array. I'm telling you it's an array. You can see by the way it's written that it's an array. When I print it out, I get array to string conversion. So you are not allowed to just print out an array because arrays are complicated. Some arrays are nested arrays. Some arrays are associative, some are indexed. So you're not allowed to just print them out. However, there is some support built into PHP which can allow you to print these things out. Now, I wanna be clear, you can kind of print things out. You just need to specify an index position. So I can print out the value in spot zero in this indexed array, or I can print out the value in spot January in this associative array, and you can do that, and you can manipulate the values like that. You just can't address the whole array. So you kind of can do that, but only for uh, a, a, a position in the array. So one of our friends to help us do this, there's a function called print r. And so print r is something we can use to print out that array. And I'll show you what that looks like. That gives you the key value pairs. Keys zero values January. Keys one values February. If you did that for messy months, which is an associative array, I kind of prefer doing this with associative arrays because the keys are more interesting. See where your keys are just these index positions. Not very interesting, but in, 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 a, in an associative array, you can see the key value pairs a little. I mean, they're clear in the other one too, but here they're, it's more clear, I would say. So print R is your friend. You can use that to display the contents of an array. Another thing that you can use is a uh, var dump. Now, var dump is probably overkill. This is going to tell you the same information that you got from print R. But it's going to tell you things like, oh, this is an array with 12 items. Um, so it's telling you about the types of the values. So here, this is it doesn't tell you anything about the key. But it says that uh, that's an integer of value 31. And there's February. And that's an integer of value 28. So you see, Vardump gives you a little information about uh, both the size of the array and the types that it's storing. There's a, I have used that before. Sometimes These are debugging tools, to be clear. You're not going to put these in your application. Your users are not going to see the results of your arrays. But sometimes you're having problems with your program and you're trying to figure out, what in the heck, why is it not doing what I want? Sometimes you'll, you'll do a print R on your array and you'll see it's full of zeros or something like that. And, you know, there are the set of problems where, that can uh, arise from having the wrong data types. So Vardump is also helpful. Now, this conversation's almost over. I'm going back to the print R. Let me show you one more thing you can do to make this even better. So there's these HTML tags called pre-tags. Pre-tags uh, basically make it so line breaks actually do something. And so it's clumsy to echo them out like this, but I'm just going to do it. So opening pre-tag, and then down below the array, I'm going to echo out a closing pre-tag. You see these are just HTML tags. You take that same thing, you see what I have, it's the same print R, it's just wrapped in pre-tags, and now it looks like, I press refresh, you're going to like this, it looks like that. I mean, maybe you don't love it because it was only one line, but imagine an array that goes on and on and on and word wraps at the end of the screen. This is about as clear as it's going to get. You can see the key value pairs. There's your key. There's your value. There's your key. There's your value. If you want to see what that looks like with an indexed array, that will look like this, and it won't be any more interesting. Well, I don't know. I guess it depends on your definition of interesting, but you see the keys are meaningless here. They're just locations. Um, so print R is probably going to help you print out your arrays, var dump, you might need it. And pre tags are also very helpful. Let me show you uh, one of those super globals because that's where I left off in my previous video. So like dollar sign underscore server. That's a good one because that one's a mess. Um, in my previous video, um, let me comment these lines out. Let me show you what this looks like without pre tags. And then I'll show you pre tags and I think you'll appreciate them. So here's no pre tags. 
Well, I mean, you're better off than having nothing here. You can see the key value pairs. So, like, this key is MIBDERS, and the value is path to some file, right? And here's a key, MySQL home, and there's the value. It's not much to look at. But if you wrap that in pre-tags, well, it's still not much to look at unless you know what you're looking at. But it looks like that, which is a lot better. And now you can see a bunch of stuff about my XAMPP installation because that's where my server is running. I mean, you could do that for GET or POST or SESSION or COOKIE, but I know perfectly well those are empty. Well, I guess if you want to see something not interesting, let's look at GET. I know there's nothing in GET. It's going to do that, right? It's an empty array. It exists because it's super global and it's omnipresent, but it doesn't have anything in it. So between printr uh, var dump and pre tags, you should be able to now debug your arrays. Thanks for watching.